After an intense five months, NASA has finally received a clear signal from its Voyager 1 spacecraft. Since November 2023, the nearly 50-year-old spacecraft has faced challenges with its onboard computers. Despite transmitting a steady radio signal to Earth, the data received has been unusable, leaving scientists puzzled. Voyager 1, positioned 15 billion miles away, holds the record as humanity's most distant object in space. Over almost half a century of travel, the spacecraft encountered a glitch leading to perplexing communication issues over the past five months. Addressing these challenges, NASA engineers encountered two major hurdles. Firstly, the spacecraft, constructed over five decades ago, required extensive research into historical documents to understand its operation. Secondly, despite updates, its technology remains significantly outdated. For context, while your smartphone can handle over 100 billion instructions per second, Voyager's computers manage just 8,000. But what exactly was the glitch that took so long to fix? Why didn't the traditional strategy of turning it on and off work? Finally, and most importantly, is the issue completely resolved or is there something else that needs to be addressed? Stick with us till the end of this video to know more. The Voyager spacecraft, like computers on Earth, communicates using the binary system. It uses only two numbers, zero and one, which represent various types of information. Each zero or one is called a bit, and combinations of these bits can convey everything from numbers and letters to more complex data, such as images or sounds. On Voyager 1, there are three main computers. Recently, a glitch was traced to one of these computers known as the Flight Data System. The FDS plays a crucial role in gathering data from scientific instruments studying the universe and monitoring the spacecraft's health. The FDS collects binary formatted data from both scientific instruments and internal spacecraft diagnostics. After processing this data, the FDS merges it into a single package. This package is then sent to the computer command system, which houses the telemetry modulation unit. The TMU then transmits this package back to Earth. To achieve this, the binary data is first modulated onto a carrier signal for transmission to Earth. Once prepared, the TMU sends these data waves through the Deep Space Network, DSN. The DSN consists of large radio antennas placed around the globe in locations like California, Spain and Australia, ensuring continuous communication with various spacecraft as the Earth rotates. Upon arrival on Earth, the received binary data undergo further processing at data centers. These data are converted into human-readable formats, such as numbers, graphs, or images, essential for scientific analysis. While Voyager has traditionally shared a mix of scientific data and spacecraft health reports this way, recent months saw the TMU transmitting an inexplicable sequence of repetitive ones and zeros. The malfunction seemed to stem from the FDS mishandling data. An error in data transmission caused the TMU to send nonsensical binary messages back to Earth. Typically, such issues are resolved by restarting the FDS. For example, in 2010, a reset of Voyager 2's FDS memory successfully corrected a similar issue caused by a flipped bit. This reset approach has also resolved glitches in other space missions, including the Hubble Space Telescope. Despite attempts to reset the FDS in this case, the problem persisted upon system reactivation. Engineers and scientists then embarked on more complex troubleshooting efforts. After meticulous investigation, the Voyager team pinpointed a faulty chip as the underlying cause of the persistent issues. The breakthrough came in March 2024 when engineers sent a poke command to the FDS. This command directly alters specific memory addresses, a technique often used in older computer systems for low-level operations. 
By sending these commands, programmers can interact directly with hardware components, such as modifying memory values to achieve precise functionality adjustments. Returning to Voyager 1, engineers used the poke command to direct the system to employ different readout sequences in its software, aiming to solve the issue. After 22 and a half hours, they received a response from the FTS and noticed unusual readings from a system part. The data seemed incorrectly formatted. Upon thorough analysis, engineers obtained a complete memory readout. By comparing this with a pre-issue readout, the Voyager team identified the corruption source. Approximately 3% of the computer's memory was corrupted. A chip storing part of the FDS memory, including critical software code, malfunctioned, rendering the on-off strategy ineffective. Now billions of miles away, repairing the chip isn't feasible. Consequently, the team decided to relocate the affected code within FDS memory. However, no single spot could accommodate the entire code section, necessitating division and storage across multiple FDS areas. The passage details the ongoing mission of Voyager 1, highlighting recent efforts to overcome technical challenges and resume effective communication and data transmission. After intricate adjustments to integrate and relocate software code sections within Voyager 1's memory, the team successfully restored monitoring capabilities by April 20th. This achievement follows a five-month period of work to ensure the spacecraft systems function harmoniously. Voyager 1's mission holds immense scientific value as it explores the outer reaches of our solar system and enters interstellar space, providing unprecedented insights into cosmic phenomena. Despite the complexities of maintaining communication across vast distances, where signals take significant time to travel, the spacecraft continues its trajectory. It is poised to resume transmitting scientific data once remaining software refinements are complete. As Voyager 1's power diminishes, expected sometime after 2025, it will silently continue its journey through the Milky Way. Alongside Voyager 2, these spacecraft represent humanity's enduring reach into the cosmos, contributing to our understanding of the universe long after their active missions conclude. Scientists remain optimistic that Voyager will transmit scientific data until its 50th mission anniversary. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope measured the universe's expansion rate. The findings highlight a major cosmological challenge, revealing gaps in our understanding of the universe's workings. After such findings by James Webb, do you think space organizations should increase their number of missions so that we can comprehend more about the universe, which in turn helps us to know the actual reality? What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments down below. Like our video if you learned something from this, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on space science.